This is Easy Camera Shake for DaVinci Resolve. You can use it to make your tripod footage look like it was shot handheld. Easy Camera Shake combines two elements to give your footage a realistic handheld feel. Camera Shake and then a lens flare which is tracked to that camera shake. When you're shooting with a real camera, all those little movements result in slight variations in the angle that your light source passes through the lens to your sensor. And we see this in the movement of the reflections. So by combining these two elements in just the right way, we can get a really great handheld feel. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, the lens flare effect is only in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. And that's true. However, I did make this lens flare from scratch to work with the free version of DaVinci. Now it's pretty resource intensive because it's doing a lot of things. I recommend getting the rest of your edit done and then applying this at the end to get that final handheld look. So let's do a quick walkthrough of Easy Camera Shake so you can get started right away. All right, once you install the plugin, you should see it here under your effects panel. If you go to effects under Mr. Justin edits, you should see Easy Camera Shake. And actually when we hover our mouse over top of it, we can already see a preview of the effect. That's pretty cool. All right, so this is made to be used with adjustment clips. So let's grab an adjustment clip and drag that on top of our footage. And then we can just drag Easy Camera Shake right onto that adjustment clip. Okay, so right away we've got a nice camera shake and we've also got this lens flare which is tracked to our footage and it's giving it a really nice handheld feel. So let's go through some of the settings for this plugin. These first two control the camera shake. So the first one is shake strength. So as we turn this up, obviously we're gonna be increasing the strength of the camera shake. Okay, we can double click this to reset it. This is the shake speed. As we turn this up, it's going to increase the frequency of the camera shake. And that's it for camera shake settings. I didn't want to overcomplicate this. I wanted to keep it really straightforward. So we have a shake strength and a shake speed that we can change. Next, we have the lens flare origin, and this is going to move the origin point of our lens flare. And then we can see our reflections are gonna move in relation to that. Actually, if we go down here and click on fusion overlay, now we can see our origin point a little bit easier and we can click and drag it around. So this is how we really set up how we want our reflections to look. Now this offset control is super handy if we want to get maybe a bit of a tighter reflection like this, we can use this little green X here to move our light source a little bit more out of frame while still being able to keep our reflections wherever we need them. Okay, reflection size, this is going to change the size of our reflections. Sparkle or solid light. So this is really interesting. Let's hide the footage so I can show you what this is doing. So as we move the slider to sparkle, what it's doing is adding fractals to this reflection to give it more sparkle, more movement. And this is supposed to help imitate outdoor light where we have things like trees blowing in the wind, clouds moving in front of the sun, sunlight reflecting off of the water, all those kind of things which would give you some dynamics and movement to your light outdoors. And then as we move the slider towards solid light, those fractals are gonna go away, and this is gonna be more like studio lighting. This is going to change the overall size of the lens flare, and this is gonna let us control the overall blend of our lens flare. Okay, if your timeline is for vertical video, it works the same way. Let's try, we'll add an adjustment clip, we'll add on easy camera shake, and as you can see, it works the exact same in a vertical timeline as well. All right, last thing, I just wanna show you how to add zooms to this as well, like I had with the opening example. Okay, so what I like to do before I add some camera shake to this, let's just, get our light in position here. So I want this to be, let's get our reflections to be motivated by this light in the window. Let's move this a little bit closer. Yeah, that's looking cool. So what I like to do is, especially if I'm working with 4K footage, what I like to do is actually just render this out first and then add in my zooms. So let's do that. Okay, bring that newly rendered clip back into DaVinci Resolve. When you double click on it, you can actually just select the video portion and drag that back onto your timeline. Now what I like to do is just highlight all the clips that I used to create this, and then under clip, you can disable them. You can also set the hotkey here as well. So let's add in our zooms. So we'll grab an adjustment clip here, and we'll just drag on easy zoom. Let's turn on the zoom blur, focus blur. We'll set our eye line here. I'm holding down alt to duplicate this adjustment clip. We're gonna set this to hold, turn off the blurs, and click invert. This holds on the initial state, so when we invert it, it will hold on the zoomed state. So this gives us a zoom and hold. That looks really great, and let's add one more as well. Again, I'm holding down Alt and dragging to duplicate those clips. Let's make this one a little bit shorter, and maybe turn down that focus blur a little bit. Extend this out. Let's see how that looks.
And as you can see, doing it this way, the lens flares are also included in the zoom movements as well. So that's kind of cool. If you need to go back and make any changes, what you would do is just disable these, enable the old clips again, go ahead and make any changes, re-render it out, and then just replace this with your new render. So you can go up here to your clip and then select replace selected clip. And that's it. I would love to hear what you think in the comments below. Quick update, Easy Film Burn is coming in a couple days. And just like this plugin, there's a lot more to it than just a film burn. Like you can make a whole B-roll sequence with it. It's pretty crazy. If you try out my plugins in the coming weeks, you might be thinking, these are kind of weird. They're kind of quirky. It's because I have lofty goals with each one. I try to think what would make this the best version of this plugin. And then actually trying to make that happen on the technical end, I do the best I can. I am very much learning as I go. And I love sharing with you guys. So if you want to come along for the ride, join us in the Discord. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any updates. For example, Paper Animator Pro is coming next week, and I'm really excited for that one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.